Knowing that Bear loves hats, we had some photos of our kids with uh, their, their graduation hats on from the, what they've done at the uni, and we decided we should put one on Bear as well, one of those big mortarboards. When we put it on his head, he stiffened up, looked, put his nose in the air, and had the air of arrogance that you wouldn't believe as if he'd just done the um, nuclear science degree and finished top of the class. So we had to put his photo on top of all the other kids once and uh, put them all in the correct pecking order, the dog first, which really worked well. First thing in the morning he likes to be in the back of the vehicle just to breathe in the fresh morning air. His greatest love is vehicles. So he, his kennel would be the front of my work vehicle. Well, I put my work hat on and when you do, he smiles. He thinks it is the greatest thing in life to, and he won't move, he just, in the beginning he used to shake his head. Now he just sits there and smiles and he knows not to move too much because it can move a little bit too much, which is quite remarkable. We used to treat him in the fr front of the vehicle with a lot of caution because he loved just um, looking around, etc., etc., in the vehicle and if we're driving a bit fast, uh, we realised he needed a seatbelt on. It didn't take him long to realise the seatbelt was an amazing thing. It puts himself in the seatbelt. Put your seatbelt on. Good boy, you've got your seatbelt on. And he has that look on his face that says this is the only way to ride. It is the only way. And almost looks around now if, if we could... If, he's almost asking that we could use him in some sort of advertisement to let people know that he realises how good a seatbelt is. Why do people not wear them? I think he shakes his head in disbelief at the fact that other people don't have them on. And he looks at us after he puts his belt on as if to say, join me. When it comes to sport, he was a sporty young pup. He was good at everything. And all dogs chase balls, fetch balls. He up to 18 months, two years of age, he'd fetch the ball. Then one day he decided, that's not for me. Why the hell would I go and, why does she keep throwing it and I've got to go and get it? Like, I'm not going to do it any longer. It's just a waste of time. And so that was the end of his uh, cricketing and tennis career. He was a good swimmer from a very young age. So we used to take him water skiing if we were down to where we do a bit of water skiing. And just recently, um, getting a bit older, I put him on a little jet ski. And talk about as stiff as a jolly piece of concrete, he sat on the front of this boat, was going flat out. He didn't move. There was no smile or anything, Kerry thinks. We got a couple of good photos of him, but he was, he just, but this is not quite for me. <laughs> Isn't that right? He was, he was horrified, actually. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> That's true, he was not going to jump off. Bear sleeps outside our bedroom, a little ledge outside our bedroom, and uh, I don't know whether we should not have him on the ABC as a uh, weather forecaster, because well before the first lightning strike, he'll tap on our window. Tap, tap, tap. And he relentlessly will tap until we bring him inside because he hates lightning and knows it's going to storm. And he'll stay there. He's ready to go outside when, when it's just about over. If Bear was here, then he would have been an overseer because he just likes to watch. And he could have yelped or barked if something went wrong. He definitely knows when things aren't in order. He, he was definitely supervisory sort of task and he would have risen to the occasion, especially with his education. He could have gone anywhere.